Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you looking to build a calculator app without needing to know any code whatsoever, stay tuned I'm covering how to make an HTML calculator and a calculator in Python in today's video. So before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Alright so I have a demo of the app right here. We're going to show how to host this or run it on your own machine, how to put it on the internet, and then how to make the Python app as well. Now to do this without coding we will be using ChatGPT. So here's a sample of the calculator app. We'll type in seven times two and just test a couple basic functions. Now you'll see since we have 14, if we type a one, it does come in right after, so it's not gonna automatically clear. But when we hit clear, it works as expected. If we go to zero plus one, we get one. So this calculator is functioning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how to do this ourselves. So we're gonna go to ChatGPT and we're going to say, write me, and then we're going to say, okay, what exactly do we need? You need to kind of map out, like, do you want certain formats, colors, functions, operations, etc. So we're going to say, write me code for a single file HTML, or actually we're going to say, write me HTML code for a single file that is a basic calculator app. So <clears throat> we're starting with this. Now we have to refine it just a bit. So what we're going to say is this calculator should have a, we'll just say easy and modern interface, which this probably won't work out very well, but we can try it. Uh, and have four columns for the buttons these and then we'll specify these buttons should perform the basic math operations so we're gonna run this and see if it understands everything now the main reason we said a single file is because we don't want an html file and then a css file then a javascript file which it can do and is still relatively simple to put together but when we do this, it's going to put everything in one file that you can just host online and you don't really need to know anything about. The downside to this is it is probably going to have an issue like this where it hits the limit for the amount of code it's going to write. So we're going to have to tell it to continue. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the code that we have up into whatever point it stopped, paste it in Notepad. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do next is make sure wherever it stopped looks relatively... It has to look unique. So what I mean by that is if we say you left off here, it's not going to understand because there are other functions potentially with calculate. You just want to make sure that the text is unique. So what I'm going to say is you did not finish the code. And then I'm going to specify, please do not rewrite everything. Please re or we'll say, please write the remaining code starting from and then we're going to hit shift enter and paste in basically just where it left off and also make sure that we spelled everything correctly and send that you should get an apology for the incomplete response here's the remaining code and then we're just going to paste it in and see what happens so we're going to in notepad plus plus or in notepad or any other editor that will allow you to do this. We typically call the homepage of an app index.html. So we're gonna save this to the desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over and we have this new index file. And it doesn't look the exact same, but let's see if it works. So when we hit one plus one, we see equals two. When we hit clear, that works. So one minus two, equals negative one. So everything's working as expected. So you have a couple of options, but at this point we have a fully functional app. It may not look as good in my opinion as this one, but we can always work with that as well. So you can tell it kind of how to organize things. So maybe you want the operators on the right hand side, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paste the 
uh, the code or I'll make this available in the coded apps section of codelessfix.com. So you should be able to find the video for this and I'll try to provide the code, the file or something to make it easier for you to get a hold of. But we at least have some something that is fully functional. So because this is saved, so you'll see we can save our changes as needed, although we haven't made any yet. But we know that this is the file that's currently working. So if you want to host this online, we can go to Hostinger or whatever your hosting provider is. I'll put a link in the description to my referral code where you should be able to get a discount. You can double check pricing to verify that, but I will get a percentage of the cost essentially when you're actually signing up through that, but you can use whatever hosting provider works best for you. So this is for codelessfix.app. If I refresh the page, there's nothing here because I haven't put anything here. Typically, when you go to the home page of your editor, there's going to be a public uh, underscore HTML. You can take your index file, which you've just created, and drop it in there. You can ignore all of these. These are subdomains that I'm using for other applications. So now that we've posted it there, we're going to go back to our forbidden page, the 403 forbidden. We're going to refresh, and now we have our calculator app. So we're going to type in 3.3, we'll try a decimal this time and see if it works, plus 3 equals 6.3, we'll put minus 1 equals 5.3. So everything is working as expected and this has been hosted online successfully, but it's also running on our local device without any issues. So the last thing we're going to do is say this worked. And you don't really need the exclamation point. Um, we're not actually talking to the person, but you know, again, um, I like to keep it conversational. So we'll say this worked. Now rewrite the code to make this same app or to make this a Python app. Now that we have something functional, it already understands the requirements. So we will get this as a Python app. So I'm going to close this and close notepad completely. And then we will run in Visual Studio code. So we are going to click new file and we'll type in calculator.py, enter. Now for this, you will need the relevant libraries installed. So typically you'll need to download Visual Studio code or what, whatever IDE you want to use. Then you will also need to install Python and potentially other libraries. But anytime you have an issue and say, I get this error, it can rewrite it to make sure that it's installing those. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this code here, put it in Visual Studio, and then we are going to click the little play button here. And you'll see we get this little app, although it's not expanding, we haven't really told it to. So let's try it out. We have one plus one equals two. We can hit the clear button, eight minus one equals, and you see seven. So now we have a fully functional app made in Python here. And we can use this as a calculator. You can make it more complex if you wish to. So I will save this code as well and make it available over at codelessfix.com so you can play around with it. Again, you can, you know, you can understand the basics like font type, size, all of that. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.